If you already have mature rose plants in your garden, propagating more rose plants is very simple. Check out this video to see how amazing it is that I use rose cuttings combined with star fruit to create beautiful blooming rose bushes. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the video, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. First of all, I would choose a healthy rose branch, free of mold, pests, and in the process of development. Around us there are many types of tubers and fruits that create surprises when used to propagate roses, and today I used star fruit to germinate this rose branch. I used scissors and a knife to trim the rose branches neatly. I used a knife to create a rooting point for the rose branch by using a knife to peel off about one centimeters of bark at the base of the rose branch. We need to use anti-scar medicine for cuts and scratches. It not only keeps the skin moist but also prevents insects and pests from spreading. Please subscribe like and comment below the video. Thank you very much. To give the rose cuttings more energy to germinate and root well when composting, I use onions mixed with water and soak the rose cuttings. Onions have many uses in flower care. They have antibacterial properties, prevent fungal diseases, repel insects, and increase the resistance of rose branches when composted. Onions should be thinly sliced and placed in clean water, helping to release beneficial nutrients and minerals into the water. And we need to soak the rose cuttings in onion water for one hour after planting. I cut off the top of the star fruit and inserted the rose stem after soaking it in onion water. Star fruit can repel insects and produce beneficial acids that promote plant root growth. We use pots that are suitable for our needs and have drainage holes to prevent the plants from getting waterlogged. Please subscribe like and comment below the video. Thank you very much. We can use soil or organic fertilizer to grow rose cuttings. And use a spray bottle to spray water evenly throughout the pot, keeping the flower stems moist for germination and root development. We need to keep newly planted plants in a cool place. After seven days of incubation, the rose branch has sprouted and the roots have developed well. Now we can plant it in a suitable pot according to our needs. After planting, we need to water to keep the rose branches moist to grow. Thanks to favorable weather and proper incubation after 25 days, the rose branches have bloomed and turned green.
In just 45 days, thanks to the correct way of planting and cutting roses, the roses have bloomed, big and beautiful. So I have another lovely pot of roses in the garden. Thank you for watching my video, please subscribe, leave a comment below the video, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much, have a nice day.